Hello everyone welcome to War Analysis Channel. Iran has deployed military experts in Russian-occupied Crimea to help launch drone attacks on Ukraine, the White House says. The Iranians are trainers and tech support workers, a U.S. spokesman said. The Ukrainian capital, Kyiv, was struck by kamikaze drones on Monday, deployed by Russia but believed to be Iranian-made. But before we get into it I'd really appreciate if you left a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new anyways let's go. The UK has announced sanctions on Iranian businesses and individuals responsible for supplying the drones. We assess that Iranian military personnel were on the ground in Crimea and assisted Russia in these operations, White House National Security Spokesman John Kirby told reporters. A relatively small number of Iranians are providing technical support and Russians are piloting the drones in Ukraine, he said. Tehran is now directly engaged on the ground, and through the provision of weapons that are impacting civilians and civilian infrastructure in Ukraine, Mr. Kirby said. The U.S. will pursue all means to expose, deter and confront Iran's provision of these munitions against the Ukrainian people, he added. Ukraine identified the drones, or unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, used on Monday as Iranian Shahed-136 weapons. They are known as kamikaze, drones because they are destroyed in the attack, named after the Japanese fighter pilots who flew suicide missions in World War II. Russia has used the drones and missiles to hit critical infrastructure around Ukraine in recent days, destroying almost a third of the country's power stations since Monday last week. As a result, Restrictions on electricity use were introduced in Ukraine for the first time on Thursday. The UK has announced sanctions on three Iranian generals and an arms firm over Russia's use of Iranian drones to attack Ukraine. UK Foreign Secretary James cleverly accused those listed of warmongering and profiting off Moscow's abhorrent attacks. Among those targeted is the chief of staff of Iran's armed forces, Major General Mohammad Hossein Bagheri, as well as Shahed Aviation Industries, a drone manufacturer. In this video, I will focus on the Kherson region and, in particular, on the northern part of the region. Here the Russians have launched mass evacuation from the Dnipro River's western bank. Geolocated footage confirms that the Russians are evacuating their machinery as well. On top of that, the commander of the Russian armed forces in Ukraine appeared on national television and started preparing the general public for, quote, difficult decisions, unquote, that they will soon have to face. What exactly these decisions are is pretty apparent, complete abandonment of Kherson. And here is why. First of all, the Russians are facing continuous attacks along the northern front. Today the Ukrainians once again assaulted Russian positions in the area of Sukhanov and Mylov. Russian sources also reported that the Ukrainians are using a lot of drones in this region, and they are doing it to achieve several objectives at once. Firstly, they are testing how well Russian air defense responds to the threat from the air in this region and where they have blind spots. Secondly, they are enhancing their intelligence gathering substantially because while the ground troops are testing the enemy's defense, the drones allow seeing how the Russians respond to these attacks and also identify artillery positions. Although the Ukrainian activity around Davidiv Brid is notably lower, the importance of this direction is even higher because a successful breakthrough in this direction will help to not only take the northern group in a pocket but also set conditions for the attack from Ternovi Poti in the direction of Snehorivka. The lower activity can be explained by the fact that the Ukrainians have been fighting here for a long time. The Ukrainians had actually advanced deep behind the current front line not so long ago, so they have a very good understanding of Russian defense here and can afford to conduct assaults every other day. In the meantime, the Ukrainians are moving more and more troops closer to the front line. Today it was reported that several dozens of tanks had entered the Davidiv Brit area. The concentration of forces here continuously increases, and the Russians try to exploit it by conducting airstrikes. Unfortunately for the Russians, the Ukrainians in this area got used to the airstrikes and have a lot of surface-to-air missile systems operating in the region. The main goal of the Russians is to inflict as high losses on the Ukrainians as possible while simultaneously minimize the losses of their own troops. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.